All right, what's up guys? I'm Sean Louis, ambassador at VKids Trend. And in this video, I just wanna give you some tips like how to score higher in your exams, even though you didn't study much, okay? And this is something that I decided to put out because right now it's an exam period. As long as you're gonna sit for an exam, this tip will help you to score higher in your exam, even though you didn't study much, okay? Uh, before I go into the secret, just to let you know, right, I have uh, applied this method when I was studying, okay? And I'm not, I'm not a hardworking person, okay? I, I do study, but I do realize that whether uh, how high I score doesn't depend on how much I know, okay? So you do realize that there are some students who, you know, somehow they didn't study much, but hey, how come they are able to score higher? Maybe you're thinking, I study a lot, but you know, how come my scores aren't that high, okay? So the key is strategy, all right? So I'm going to give you the tips. I want you, uh, before you before you continue in this video, I want you to get a notebook and a pencil so at least you can note down everything that I'm saying or whichever, thing, whichever tips that you feel is uh, that can help you. So the key is strategy, all right? Write this down, strategy, okay? It's not about how much you know, it's not about how much you study and of course, the more you study, the better, the higher your chance of scoring will be, okay? But even though, like, let's say you're not able to cover so much, you are, you know, time, time, you don't have enough time to like cram everything into your mind, then it's okay, all right? So the key is strategy and here's how I do it, okay? I'm going to show you how I do it and then you can apply it into your own exam as well, all right? You ready? So it all starts when you get the paper, okay? So there are a few steps that I do this, so I want you to take note, okay? There are a few steps. So step number one, the moment you get the paper, I don't, uh, I think, I don't think you can open it immediately, right? Or if you can open it, then great, all right? So the first step is to do a survey. Okay, you do a survey of all the questions you have. Um, what people do, what usually students do, they will answer straight away. Okay, they go question one, they answer, then question two, answer question three, answer question four, answer. Then by the time they reach in the middle, they realize they don't have enough time. Even though they have the answers to the questions later on, they are not able to answer it and then it's they just run out of time and when they run out of time they are not able to answer all the questions and that's where the marks drop okay so this strategy will help you to increase your score okay so number one is you do a survey first survey means like what i'll do i will take the exam paper first thing i will go through every question okay i'll just have a quick look maybe this will take about two minutes you'll want to take two to three minutes to plan your strategy, okay? Don't think, oh my God, I'm wasting two to three, I'm wasting these uh, precious minutes, no, not, not really, okay? You're using this to strategize so that you know how to plan your time, okay? You make your time, uh, make, uh, make full use of your time, whether it's one hour or one and a half hours, okay? So number one, survey, look through all the questions and here is how I mark it. You mark all the questions you know you will get 100%. You know how to answer it, okay? So you put a circle, okay? This one, or you, you put a tick, okay? Whichever way you mark it, okay? You put a tick, okay? Question one, I know how to do it. Next one, question two, nah, I'm not so, not so good at that. Question three, okay, I know how to do question three, then you mark. So you, I want you to go through the entire paper and mark every single question that you know that you, that you know you will get 100% one, or you know that you can answer with confidence, okay? That is step number one. Step number two is you go back to the beginning and go through again the questions that you haven't answered uh, yet, you haven't marked. Now, these are the ones that you are 50-50, you're not sure, like, I'm not sure whether I can get it right, but I'm not sure, like, it's not like I don't know either, all right? So these are the 50-50 ones. So you use something, another way of marking to, you know, to to mark the ones that you are 50-50 on, all right? Maybe you wanna put a star, or you wanna put a moon or whatever, whatever, okay? You mark it. Step two is to go through and see which ones you are 50-50, okay? So at this point, at this point, you have already identified which questions you already know for sure. You will get like full or close to full. Second round of survey is to see which ones you are not very sure. Okay, maybe you, are, you might be right, you might be wrong, but just mark those anyways. So the last thing you want to do is to go to the beginning of the, you go to the beginning of the exam paper again. And what's remaining is the questions 
that you totally don't know how to do okay the totally kosong one all right and you just mark it as well okay so this will take about two to three two to three minutes of your time to strategize and it's very very important okay there is a saying like um like before you cut down the tree you sharpen the axe first okay so this is we are sharpening we are like so to say like we are sharpening the axe right now okay so now all right now you're ready to answer the question so how do you do it it's very simple step number one go through the questions answer the questions that you know you will get 100 or close to 100 this is the first round of how you answer the question once you've made it through all the way to the end please um of course make full use of your time okay make sure to answer don't spend uh make sure to like like you 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 do work out an average okay let's say if you have one hour one hour you have how many questions you have 10 questions okay so you take one hour and divide by 10 and that is how you know how much time you have to answer those questions let's say if one uh, one question you have five minutes the moment you hit that five minutes you need to move to the next question don't spend so much time on that one question all right so that is strategize your time as well so step uh, first thing go through all the questions that you know how to answer once you make it to the end then do a time check how much time do you have left then you go through the beginning again and this time you go through the questions that you feel you will get 50 50. understand 50 50 that's where you answer okay maybe you're right maybe wrong but you just give your 100 percent anyways okay you make it through to the end see how much time you have left and this is where you you you, you might the, the questions that you totally don't know how uh, this one you tembak lah, okay you tembak if it's an objective questions then you just you guess okay maybe this is how you answer it or maybe just try just try to answer it do not leave it blank okay do not leave it blank and some another tip for you is let's say if you totally don't know how to answer you can't get a question you that mean you can't get the answer but if you know how to how to get the answer then just explain okay this is how i get the answer all right i'm sure the teacher will say okay at least he knows how to get the answer then maybe you'll get some extra marks from there as well so to give a very quick summary strategize first Okay, strategize and see which questions you know how to do, which ones are 50-50 and which ones you totally zero. Okay, you leave the zero ones, the totally you don't know one, you don't do it at all. Okay, you leave it until the end if you still have extra time. And this is also how you can roughly estimate how much you will get. Okay, let me, let me explain. Let me explain. How you know how much you will get in that exam, you know, like, okay, if there is um, five uh, fifty percent of the questions, you know, you'll get hundred percent. Okay, then that, that's like fifty percent, really lah. If there's um twenty, let's say there's thirty thirty percent of the questions, you think you're fifty fifty, uh, then you just take the half of it, no? So it's like fifty percent plus half of thirty percent is fifteen percent, and the rest is totally you don't know one thing about one. Okay, thing about we just take it as zero lah. If you manage to score anything from there, then good good for you lah. Okay, so this is how like in this example that I, I gave you, maybe I will get 65%. So this is how you roughly know how much you will get. Okay, so anyways, um, all the best in your exam. I know uh, this is the exam period. And if you find this helpful, please share this with your other friends as well who is sitting for exam. Or if you're a parent like me, you have kids who is sitting for exam or preparing for exam, this strategy will help you a lot. Okay, because I know children, they are not they are not stupid okay if you're studying i know you're not you're not stupid okay it's just that strategize your time strategize uh, strategize how to answer and i believe you will get higher marks okay sean here i hope you like it share it with someone who is going through an exam right now okay so if you find this helpful feel free to give a like or subscribe or you know let me know in the comments hey uh, sean thanks so much for your tip it helps a lot and i'll see you in the next video okay all the best Bye-bye.